Today I'm excited to take a look at one of the two cultural hotspots in Italy right now, Bergamo. The pictures you see here are of an incredible event that was organized as a part of the city's celebration of being named as one of the cultural capitals of Italy. Against the backdrop of Bergamo's historic architecture, the light show illuminated the city with a dazzling array of colors and patterns, creating a truly magical experience for all who attended. So I'm in the old town of Bergamo right now, to be precise, at Piazza Vecchia. And culture is all about people, so let's get to know some. What does culture mean to you? Culture for me in Italy, first of all, means food, because I, I like to eat. Art, all the important aspects of a culture, for example, is uh, the, the historical part of it, but also the part, yeah. A typical Sunday in Italy, how does it look like for you? Okay. For me, right now, be at home and do the stuff for the house. <laughs> but in general, uh, go outside with family. It's about family, and, right? Yeah. yeah. In general, yes. Kind of lonely day to dedicate to your family and mm. to, to you. So I'm at the Palazzo della Ragione right now and I see some lines here and I'm so curious what this is about. So let's find someone who can explain it to me. What's your name? John. John, nice to meet you. You too, how are you? So, and your name? Julian. Julian, okay, <laughs> perfect, yeah. Okay, let me know what is it about. So pretty much this is one of those like astrological clocks. So if you can look up there, can you see that very small hole? Oh yeah. At the top, so at a certain time of the day, the light will shine down and it will tell you the date. So you can see here you've got all the different months of the year and you can see that they've been split up on the lines. You've got 20, you've got 10, and it'll just point to the actual date. So at midday. So it's like a calendar, calendar thing clock with for the year. Okay, nice, very nice. Culture, what does it mean for you personally? Oh, I'm in a I'm in a different spot. So I've been living in Italy now 11 years. My wife's Italian, so I would say that culture is something that changes depending on where you live. So as you can tell from my accent, I'm British, but I would definitely say after 10 years living in Italy, I have definitely kind of absorbed a lot more of Italian culture, so the way I dress, the way I speak, um, my diet, and everything else. Yeah. Okay, so like, for you as a ex-British guy, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you call it that, that what's like the, the big difference? Where like, where you really see, okay, this is something they, where we really do it different in our I country. must admit, like, I, I love the Italian quality of life. I love the Italian, uh, so I got two children, and I love the fact that in Italy, kids can be kids like it's, it's great like you can be at night and the kids can just run around a piazza and that's totally cool and i love that so you can actually be a child and everyone will say hello to you everyone will make you feel really welcome yet in the uk you know a stranger can't go up to your kid and say hello that, that's, that's that's weird that's but it's here it's like all the old people get involved and it's lovely yeah, yeah. That's, that's really nice that's nice if you would send me somewhere here in bergamo yeah. as a tourist where should i go well i've just come from it and there's a little restaurant called Il Cercolino. So down here on the left-hand side, it is about two minutes from the main piazza. It is a local, I don't know the English, but it's cooperativa. And so it's got local foods, local wine, but it's run by the Comune, kind of like semi-owned by the Comune, but there they have, um, like, guys are recovering from uh, alcohol or drugs or d with disabilities, they can go and work there. So it's a really nice, oh, nice to get local food, but it's a great way to get keep people busy okay, during nice. the day. Really and what nice. kind of food should I get? Cousin Charlie. Cousin Charlie, I, I will Charlie. do it. Okay. Perfect. So okay, so I found some people here, they were flying a drone and I was like talking to them because filmmakers, they kind of love them, each other. So, and we're going to eat now in the restaurant I was recommended and yeah, we take you to this journey. So Malcolm is a local. He knew a lot about this restaurant. That's why we let him choose the meal. And then ask the waiter for maybe two plates of polenta tarani to share. They'll bring us uh, bread, so it's fun. Perfect. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's, I always like it to have a lot and try everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we perfect. should do that, we should do that. 
We shared the plates and of course I got the chance to try out the famous Casoncelli, which John recommended me before. After the meal, Malcolm showed us the restaurant. An interesting fact is that the building was actually a prison back in the days. Nowadays, you can see stunning paintings on the ceilings, even on the toilet. We visited the art exhibition on the first floor and spent the rest of the day together. I was honestly surprised of the kindness of this group. It felt like we were friends from the first second. And for me, this is the most exciting aspect of the culture of Italy. I hope to see you again next time on Explore Bella Italia TV.